morning. It is Thursday the 15th of June. It's 9am. Um, I was going to do another weekly vlog. Um, are you going to look? Yes, you are. Um, but if I'm totally honest, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, I just go to work for nine hours a day, come home, I'm tired, might do a little bit of housework, make tea, that's it, that is, nothing happens on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so I thought I might start from today, which is Thursday, um, which is a day off, um, just because there's a little bit more happening, not particularly exciting, might I add, but just a little bit more time to film. Um, so, um, I don't know what you'd call it, heart week vlog, midweek vlog, I don't know. Um, anyway, it's 9am, I think I've already said that. I'm off to my mum's house, I'm going to go and cut her hair. I always go to my mum's every Thursday anyway, um, but she wants a haircut, so I'm going to go and do that. Um, Police. Go on. Oh, it's a van coming. Um. Uh, I see you. Welcome, hair. And then I often do her nails on a Thursday, so I might ask if she wants her nails doing as well, and then she can have the full works. Why not? She deserves it. <laughs> um. And then I'm going to go and do, I'm saying air a lot, Anna. It's fine. I'm going to go and do the food shopping. Which, it's quite annoying because I need to go to, Matthew likes his drinks at the Man still like has his own drinks. Um, so I might go and stock up on them because they're quite cheap as well. Um, so I might go and stock up on them. And then I want to do the main of my shopping at Aldi. But then there's also some bits and bobs that I need from um, Pound Stretcher, which is near Aldi, so that's not too much of a pain, but Asda's actually the opposite end of town. But Asda is near my mum's as well, so I am over that way. Um, go do the shopping, walk the dog, do the housework. Oh, and then we're back at the dentist today as well at uh, 10 to 3. Uh, no, 10 to 4. So Matt's going to come. Matthew goes to college on a Thursday. He does um, mechanics. Oh, he's doing much better, by the way, um, after his incident last week or nearly two weeks ago now, isn't it, at the dentist? Um, so let's let's hope there isn't a repeat of that again. Hopefully we'll just go and I'll have a check-up and that'll be that. So that's a ten to four. So Matthew's going to make his way home and then we're going to go to the dentist. We'll make sure we set up in plenty of time as well so we don't miss our appointment. So yeah, that's today. Come along with me. And I'll try not to make it too boring. Hello. So it's actually half past 12 now. Went to my mum's, did her hair and nails. Um, and then I, I just ended up going to Asda, got some. Well, I got the waters that Matthew wanted put in. And then I just could not be bothered to go to Alza. So I haven't been yet and I don't know when I'm going to fit that in. But um, I'm just out walking dice at the moment. Uh, Dice hasn't been so good the last few days, he's been really wobbly, he's been falling over quite a lot um, just due to old age, bless him um, so I don't really like him being on his own too long because sometimes he tries to get up on the couch and um, falls over uh, yesterday he actually fell down the stairs twice so I really didn't want to leave him for too long so I've come home, we're just out on a little walk now um, there he is. Um, we'll just make it a really short one today, though. But just get him. I think it. I think it does him good to stretch out a little bit. 
um, obviously not too much because then his legs can't take that either but if he just stretches out a bit I think it does help it's gone really nice and sunny now it's raining and horrible and cold this morning but it's looking nice again now mind you it is June it should be nicer than this shouldn't it really um, but then it's June in the Lake District isn't it so what do you expect Dicey Dice Come here. Hey, come here. Good boy. Come on. Hello, Dicey. Oh, dearie me. Well, today hasn't really gone as planned. Um, I walked the dog and then I came home and then because it like he ended up falling over on our way home from the walk, so then I felt horrible and sad. So when we got home, I just sat with the dog and cuddled him. Um, and then I painted a little bit of Matt's room. I'm decorating Matt's room at the moment, which I'm hoping to make that into a bit of a before, during, and after vlog. Um, can't show you right now though because it is a mess up there but anyway I painted a bit more of his wall um, and then I had a bath which is why my hair and top are different um, if you're wondering if you'd noticed and then uh, 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 come on Daisy good boy good boy you managed um, So then we went to the dentist, that was all good. No ambulances needed this time. What more can you ask for? And then we went to Benson's for beds and uh, Matthew chose a mattress and we've ordered that, um, which is coming two weeks today. So I thought, brilliant, we can get his room sorted. Um, but I've been saying to Matt for weeks, will you please help me sort your room out? We need his old bed dismantling because we've got a new bed which is here in our living room which as you can see we have a very small living room it's taking up most of the room it's hard work um but he needs to sort how out like underneath his bed there's all stuff i don't know what he wants to keep and what he doesn't want to keep and to be perfectly honest i don't want to go under his bed there's probably things up under there that no mother should ever see um and also he's got bunk beds so the top bunk needs to sort there's all like just rubbish up there he needs to sort that out so anyway i thought two weeks perfect plenty of time to get things sorted come home ask matt to sort his start sorting his room out a bit he says he's going out and he's gone out so i'm kind of i don't know if anyone's ever mentioned this before but two nurses are bloody hard work they really are. He just went and he just brought this down from his room. Salt and pepper thing. It's in his bedroom. Just brought it down and said, I brought this down for you. For me? Well, what a gent. <sighs> so anyway, I need to go and paint his wall again, a second coat, but I'm really struggling, I'm really losing motivation because he just is not helping. I meant to be putting a new floor down but can't clear his room because he won't bloody get on with it. It's a nightmare that boy, he's been asking for ages to have his room decorated. So I finally start getting on with it and he's not for helping so what, what more can I do? I'm sorry to rant it yeah. I should be ranting at him is what I should be doing but that does no good. I've tried ranting at him. morning it's friday um so as i said last week in my vlog if you watched i usually um do volunteer work on a friday 
but I'm thinking I'm not going today, which I feel incredibly guilty about, uh, especially because I didn't go last week because obviously Matthew came home from school um, ill last week. But I was there two weeks ago and did lots and lots of haircuts, so I can't imagine there's that many people wanting haircuts. And if I'm not cutting hair, then I'm doing just general volunteer work, which to be fair, there's always enough volunteers anyway. I'm just trying to justify it so I don't feel guilty. Um, so I don't think I will be that missed if I don't go. But I do feel guilty. And the reason I'm, I'm don't really want to go is because I just have so much stuff to do and I, I didn't really get much done yesterday. Uh, first thing being I'm on my way to Aldi now. Um, I think recently because I've been, um, I was decorating the hallway and then I went straight on to decorating Matthew's bedroom. I feel like the rest of the house is just getting neglected. I'm just not, like, I just feel like my house is such a mess at the moment and it's really getting me down. Um, I can't bear it and also another reason for not wanting to be out of the house too long is because um, like I said yesterday Dice isn't doing brilliant at the moment so I don't really want to leave him for too long and I want to get on with decorating Matthew's room as well um, I'm at work tomorrow I can fit through there can't I yeah. um, I'm at work tomorrow Tonight, um, I think my friend's coming round. Tomorrow night after work, another friend's coming round. Sunday, I really want to crack on with doing his room. I want to get a lot done on Sunday. Although, I'm already thinking probably not that much is going to get done on Sunday because my friend that's coming round on Saturday night, whenever she comes round, we always end up getting way too drunk, drinking way too much, staying up way too late. She always stops over, but. We don't go to bed till about four o'clock in the morning usually. Um, so I'm, I'm already thinking Sunday's not going to be as productive as I, I need it to be really. Um, I mean really as a grown adult I should be able to have friends around without getting our soldier. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to just take the day off from my volunteer work today and, and do stuff at home. Excuse the state of me, I'm rather windswept. Things haven't gone to plan yet again. <laughs> I thought I'd quickly nip to my sister's and have a, a brew with her before I went to Aldi, but when I turned up, it turned out it's my niece's sports day, so she asked if I wanted to go to that. Um, so I went to that. Uh, it's only on for about an hour or so, but then I ended up going to my sister's for a brew and then went to Aldi and Pound Stretcher. So, so much for not leaving the dog on his own very long. It's now. Quarter to one. Uh, anyway, I've been and got the shopping. Um, I'll do a quick haul of what I've got and then I'm going to crack on with the house. So here's a really quick kind of, um, or should I say a small haul that I've got today. Um, this selection over here is from Pound Stretcher. Dice is looking. Hello Dicey! Um, so I've got a couple of bottles of water or packs of bottles of water for Matt. Um, to have in his little fridge in his room. I got these um, water infuser bottles. Um, again, they're for Matt. I've got one myself, um, but I thought he might quite like them. These makeup um, removal wipes, 50, uh, three for one pound. They're good. I get them quite often. They last a while, but they're good. Uh, some washing up gloves, and then these horrendous filled hooves for dice. Uh, they're open because he's having one now. They absolutely stink, but like I say, he's not been very well, so I thought I would uh, treat him to some hooves. Um, and then just a, a bottle of shampoo for Matt. Um, I think that was everything from Power Structure. I got some dog food as well, but that's in the car. And then from Aldi, we got um, a small loaf of bread, a couple of packs of chicken. And some. These are really nice. I recommend these. I think they're only 95p. Um, crisp potato slices. Um, Indian rice, that's really lovely as well. Let me get rid of my car keys. Um, these um, surface wipes, they smell really, really nice. I think they're about 75p or 80p or something. Really good. Um, some pancakes for Matt. 
some lemons and limes there for the water bottles, a couple of packets of satsumas, some squirty cream, Matthew likes them on um, waffles and we have them uh, with meringues and uh, fruit, uh, milk, strawberries, raspberries, we eat them anyway but they're also nice with the squirt cream and the meringues and then some rice puddings, um, Aldi's answer to Snickers, again they're for Matt and some chocolate chip brioche swirls, again for Matt. Um, so that's it really, just, just a quick, I was meant to do a proper food shop but actually I just wanted to get home so I just got some bits for like tea for tonight and snacky things for, for the weekend. Sorry, forgot to mention I also got um, these flowers, there's, I think there's five packs for £2 each just of carnations. I always have flowers, fresh flowers um, and I, I get carnations because well for one thing they're cheap and they last a long time so and I just think they just make the place look nicer. I, I always have them. Hello, it's Sunday the 18th of June, I've missed a whole day, sorry, um, the reason I missed a day uh, was because yesterday was Saturdays at work, I start work at 8am on a Saturday and got home at about, sorry there's a hair on my, um, got home about half five-ish and Dice wasn't uh, very good. He goes to mum and dad's when I'm at work and um, my dad brought him home and he's just not doing very well. He's just not able to stand up very, for very long, keeps falling over. Um, so I ended up sleeping downstairs on the couch with him last night. I say sleeping, there was no sleeping. So uncomfortable, the dog couldn't get comfortable. Um, I, to go out into the backyard you have to go up steps and he can't do the steps so I have to take him out the front and round the back if he needs to go out for a wee or anything so that was fun um you can hear him crying now because he can't go up the stairs now I'm upstairs um and then I live directly opposite a news agents and they 
deliver the papers to the shop at 4am so I could hear all that and oh and then at half six Dice decides to get up and start gnawing on his uh, filled hoof that I got in the other day so I've been up since half six it's now about half eight um my friend didn't come around last night, uh, which is a shame, but at least I'm not hungover today. So, like I say, I was going to be getting on with the decorating today. Maybe I still will, but I think because it is such a nice day out there, um, and I think it's... Let's have a look what the weather forecast is saying. It's saying it is going to be 23 degrees today and bright sunshine all day. So I think I might make the most of that, and I think I'm going to um, just uh, sort out my back yard do the yarding as i say hence why the hair's looking a bit stupid i've just got it out my face to to crack on with that really it's all just a bit of a mess at the moment so um i think i might do that and it's going to be nice all week so at least that i can sit out there and enjoy it at the moment it's just horrendous there's just cardboard boxes everywhere that have all been mushed up by the rain there's an old microwave out there <laughs> there's an old garden rusty old garden table out there it's not a nice place to sit, so I think I'll get that sorted. Um, also, it's Father's Day today, so happy Father's Day to my dad, the best dad in the world, and to all the other great dads out there, but mainly to my dad, because he's the best. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to go and take Dice on a, a little walk now, just a tiny little walk, just to stretch his legs. And uh, then I'm going to go to the tip, and then I'm going to get on with gardening, I think. My flowers that I got today, they were four for ten pounds and four, and then them little ones were in the clearance for one pound. So there we go. That's brightening up the backyard a little bit. <laughs> 